Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I have some happy mail that I would like to unbox. It's pretty heavy. I'm not sure what's in here. I did receive a message saying to look out for this package that I should receive it today, which I received it on time, and that it had some things in here that I can use for my journals. Okay, so the package came from Yolanda. See if I can get it open. Oh, I shouldn't be cheating. <laughs> let's just take something out. Okay, let's take out the note. Rochelle, I hope you can make great use of this scrap paper. Yolanda, a viewer from Chicago. Nice. I have to put that in my note. Okay. So this is only my second set of these. I have one set that's under my desk right now. These are like chipboard um, tags from Michaels. And this looks like the Celestial Skies design. I'm looking to see if it says anywhere, if it is, but yeah. So there are 60 tags in here and they are really good quality tags, chipboard. So I got that, very nice. Let's see, Let's move the box over a little bit. Oh, Boss Babe paper pad. These are great and yes, I can use them in my journals as journaling cards, definitely. Rise and Slam Boss Babe in. I am a limited edition. So I'm just quickly flipping through just to see what all is in here. So you got some pattern paper too. Okay. I can definitely use this. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Oh, uh, we got another of the paper pad block. Okay, and this is three and a half by six inches. So this one is three and a half by six inches as well. This one is Dream Chaser. Ooh. I'm gonna have to do the box like that so that I'm not constantly hitting it. Some cut aparts. Yes. So we've got lots of greens and blues. Daydreamer. Just quickly flipping through. I like that. So you can write like a list on it. Oh, this is so great in a journal I've already started actually. Actually, these will go great on dashboards in my planner. <laughs> so, yeah. I like that one. Wow. Ooh, I like that too. Okay, so that is Dream Chaser. This is Boss Babe. Trying to get everything off the top first. Here we go. Ooh, fancy that. Paper pad, my mind's eye. So I know it's double sided. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we got double sided paper from my mind's eye. Make sure I'm in frame. Flip through real quick. So I think it's one side is foil, one side is not, so that's good. So I can use it either side. Yes. I don't even think I have any My Mind's Eye papers. Oh, I like that. That's my journal that I'm working on right now. 
Oh, that's pretty. Really like that. Diamonds. Okay. So that's it for that one. And it's my mind's eye. These are the papers that are included. Here is Cedar Lodge. It's four and a half by seven. This is Recollections. This would be a good for fall stuff. I think oh, that paper came out. Wood grain, bricks. I was just looking at something this morning. With bricks. I can use this in the Halloween journal that I'm working on. Uh, my fall journals. Even though I know this is meant to be masculine I can still, these papers can still be used for a variety of things. So, I like that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Definitely can make some good use out of that. Let's see, is that everything on top? Then this is a piece of the, I think it's called lace edged paper. Um, I use this a lot in my photos. Here's a full sheet. So yeah, what is the name of it? Oh, it's by Anna Griffin. But it's, yeah, but I think it's um, lace edge something. So I wouldn't, since it's already cut, I won't feel bad cutting that. Okay, I think these are loose papers. So this looks like the paper that the note was on. This looks very familiar. Ah, uh, it's from Hobby Lobby. So I'm pretty sure all of these are. Yes, 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 got the water. Go on my mermaid journal. This feels like the jewel box papers. Am I right? Definitely does. Ooh. I don't know. But I think so. These are good papers. So that's cool. Then we got some glitter paper without shedding. So I got the green, purple, and the turquoise. You can see the shimmer. And this is a piece of pink cardstock, heavyweight. So got those papers. Wow, this is a lot. Let's see, got more, but wait, there's more. Okay, so I think this came apart in shipping, but these are, this is a pack of Tim Holtz papers, a paper pad. I don't think I have any 12 by 12 Tim Holtz paper. I have some eight by eight, that's it. Um. So yeah, look at these. And they're double-sided. That's awesome. So, and then I think this is the rest of the paper pad. Let's just flip quickly. So they're all double-sided papers. These can be cut apart. Ooh, and they're squares. Six by sixes. Perfect for handmade journals, vintage with the vintage look. Yeah, very nice. Love the numbers. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Yolanda. Oh, the things I'm going to make. <laughs> okay, this is Hearth and Harvest. This is one of the 
Craft Smart paper pads that I didn't buy. I don't remember this one. What year is this from? This is from, I don't see a copyright date on it, um, but I think it's from 2019. So, and I don't think I bought a lot of uh, fall papers in 2019. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, I love this color. I probably did. I don't even remember looking at this because I was like, no, I'm not buying papers. Got some plaid. Six by sixes. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I wonder if I could make a planner cover with that. Oh, love the red plaid. Okay, so this is, happy Thanksgiving. This is nice, okay. So again, lots of nice papers that I can use. Oh. This is double sided too. Can still use it. I wonder what she cut out. <laughs> so, and this is recollections paper. Ooh. I have a use for this right now today. Where's my journals? I'm working on some Halloween journals and I was just working on the cover last night. I don't think I would want to cover up this one, but I think I could use it on this one. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. I have projects in the works that I can use these papers on. Huh. So this is stripe. I wonder if it's supposed to go up and down. I guess it doesn't matter. It can go either way. Does this paper have... Does this paper shed? Because I'm feeling glitter. Seeing glitter. Okay. So some... A couple of sheets of green cardstock. Can use that. Oh matte paper this is nice oh this can go on my mermaid journal ocean paper do I have this upside down was all of this part of something I don't know anyway so we have some music paper Okay, I'm thinking these are stuck together, but maybe not. Then, okay, yeah, these are stuck together. So we got the polka dot, we got a, a light pattern and a gold foil leaf pattern. Then got this dark blue patterns. So we got that one. Two sheets of that, one sheet of the circles, one sheet of this pattern. Uh, I think all of these were together, supposed to be. That's pretty. Got that. I got enough here to make dividers. And this color is pretty neutral. I mean, it's not 100% neutral, but it's pretty neutral. I think I'm tearing it apart from the paper pad that it was in, but so we got that one. That one. Yeah, these are all part of the same collection. So all the blues and the creams go together. Here are some scrap pieces. 
can use. Hmm, I don't remember seeing that paper. This is beautiful. Wow. Go there. I like the neutralness of this. This is really nice. And I'm thinking dividers for one of my planners. The only thing with me doing dividers is I don't want to use like good paper <laughs> to use my silhouette to cut it because sometimes there are mishaps. And then if it messes up my paper and that's the only paper that I have, that's upsetting. So that's a problem. So I don't know. I'll think about it. So that is everything that was in the box. Thank you again, Yolanda. I can put all of this to good use, and I will. Um, if you're not subscribed to my other channel, Journal Life's Journey, check me out over there because a lot of this will be used in journals when I'm making journals, but also a lot will be used over here too. So um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Also, check us out over at patreon.com slash scrapcraftastic for exclusive content and digital downloads. Visit my other channel, Journal Life's Journey, for craft videos and junk journals. You can find me across social media at scrapcraftastic. Visit my shop and website at scrapcraftastic.com. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!